In 2016, Hubble celebrated its 26th year in space. More than a quarter of a century of intriguing observations and remarkable discoveries. But what is there left for Hubble and the forthcoming James Webb Space Telescope to do? We have asked astronomers working with and developing the telescopes what they think we can expect over the coming years. Things that we're thinking about are changing rapidly. And so um, questions that we're trying to ask today, uh, we've only just begun to think about them in many cases. They've, they're new questions. And so when you have observatories that have the kind of transformational abilities like Hubble or Webb to really take you places you haven't gone before, to make you think about questions you haven't asked before, um, it can move the whole field forward very quickly. Hubble is one of the most successful astronomical instruments in history and has made its mark on almost every field of astronomy. But its achievements go beyond science to its unique influence on wider society. Hubble has always been a telescope for the public and as such it has changed humanity's view of the universe. Well, I think that Hubble has been really revolutionary in the field, uh, also because then the public could be in contact with space and, uh, and really feel part of it. Not only, I mean, as a scientist, of course, I would have many things to tell about the great opportunities for science, but I think the, the great opportunities for the public to meet the science and to meet the universe was incredibly nice. Hubble's biggest accomplishment has been just opening up the entire universe to us in ways that we hadn't really imagined before. I think it's the cumulative sum of all of the observations that Hubble has taken that has given us just such a different view of what the universe is like and our place in it that, uh, you know, it's been really revolutionary. Hubble's place in popular culture has inspired the public to consider the universe differently, and it will continue to do so. But its very human appeal has also influenced the work and the lives of the many astronomers who have built careers around it. I've been growing up with Hubble since, since I started working in astronomy, so Hubble has become a very close friend of mine, and I've been through all the ups and downs that Hubble had. It, 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 it fell ill, it needed cure, and I'm, I'm thrilled by the human aspect to it that we had to have astronauts going up servicing it and I had the opportunity to meet some of them. So it's, it's beyond the science, there's a very human story of exploration of the universe involved, which I find very fascinating. And seeing the next big observatory being ready to launch is, is a very exciting moment in time. So I'm, I'm thrilled that I will hopefully have the opportunity to make use of that myself. As the astronomers who grew up with Hubble await the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, a key question to ask is, what is left for Hubble? What more does it have to show us? We will probe uh, stellar populations in other galaxies, and so that will give some clues on some mysteries that we have today. Um, and uh, that will probe a very large uh, universe, but not only in space, but also in time. And we, we really need to look back in time and to have information about is the sit was the situation the similar in the very early universe, for example, for the formation of stars, or was it very different? Do we have something that is related in terms of star formation that is related to cosmology, or does it happen uh, 
everywhere in the same way, uh, independently of the time, the, the cosmic time that uh, these stars formed. Uh, I think we're going to learn a lot more about how stars form. And I suspect we're going to learn a lot more about what's happening in the early universe. Um, even though that's one of Webb's prime science drivers, uh, you still need the Hubble data for context. And so I think that those are all big areas. The mysteries lurking in the early universe and uncovering the very first galaxies that reside there are areas that will be tackled by the Hubble and Webb teams. A new collaboration of telescopes that will take Hubble into the future with the same huge potential for discovery that we have seen over the last 26 years. So in, its, in the infrared, Webb will provide images and information with the kind of clarity that Hubble provides at optical and ultraviolet wavelengths. And I think when you see um, an astronomical object at one wavelength, you immediately want to know what it looks like in a different color or a different wavelength. And so uh, having both of them together is certainly going to be more powerful than either of them alone. So will Hubble, with the help of James Webb, be able to solve the big mysteries of modern astronomy? The origins of the universe, the formation of stars, the nature of dark matter and dark energy, the answer is that nobody knows. And as we have seen in the past, it's not just the new answers, but the new and currently inconceivable questions thrown up by telescopes such as Hubble that make them revolutionary. And Hubble is still up to the challenge. Well, more generally speaking, we are, we are entering new territory in, in many fields of astronomy. So we have discovered over the past 20 years that the universe is filled with dark energy and is actually accelerating in its expansion. We have discovered extrasolar planets. So there's a huge range of absolutely novel physics and astronomy that we didn't even know that it existed when Hubble was launched. And so I think that's one of the big fascinations in astronomy that um, we simply don't know what the future holds and having, having these very powerful observatories both in space at the same time I'm really sure that there will be new discoveries coming along. I think that with these new instruments we will have lots of surprises that we don't expect now. And I think that's really the place, the moment where you will have exciting discoveries. There is a lot of work left to do in astronomy and astronomers will continue to work with Hubble to make sense of the universe. We are ready to be surprised by nature beyond our wildest imaginations. As a kid, you learn these basics, right? That the, the universe is unchanging and that the stars are there forever and that, um, you know, it's more or less a static universe out there. And when you start working in this field, you realize how dynamic it is, how much things change, um, even how much your, your understanding changes, which is just as remarkable. And, I think in that sense, it's really exciting to be part of something where every day you come in and you know the next big discovery is just a few hours away or a few days away. And that's the way it is with Hubble and that's the way it's going to be with Webb. Now that you've caught up with Hubble, make sure to get the latest from the ground too. The ESOcast highlights the best of the European Southern Observatory and its powerful telescopes that observe from high in the Chilean Andes at the Southern Hemisphere's best-known sites for astronomical observations. <laughs>